horrible. Oh, I said I did not want to go to prison. <laughs> Guys, is that Paul in that cell over there? Giz, do a facial recognition scan. You are correct. That is Paul. If they have arrested him, does that mean they plan to execute him? <sighs> Greetings, child. I am Paul. Joy. That's Chris and Gizmo. It's been... a busy day. Why have they put you in prison? Uh, we... we got here. It's kind of complicated. Is it because you are Christian? We are Christians. Then it is nice to meet you, Joy. I'm sorry it had to be in this place. And I pray that whatever brought you here, God will free you from. May I ask you something, Paul? Back home, my mom, she's... She's sick, and... I just don't understand why God doesn't heal her. <laughs> I... Don't know what's happening, and... It, it scares me so much. <laughs> I'm sorry. I myself have gone through some... Times of suffering. Why doesn't God just fix things for us? Why does any Christian have to suffer at all when God can do miracles? Christ never promised that we would not suffer this world, Joy. In fact, he said we surely would. His promise was that he has overcome the world. Let me ask you a question. Can anything ever separate us from Christ's love? Does it mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity or are persecuted or hungry or destitute or in danger or threatened with death? For his sake, we are killed every day. We are being slaughtered like sheep. Despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ, who loved us. Christ himself said, I will never leave you nor forsake you, Joy. And our worst situations can be turned for the greatest good when we endure them in service of the word of the Lord. <laughs>